Hi, and today I am going to show you a simple way to make a dream catcher. So to start with, you will need an embroidery hoop and a selection of different ribbons so you can decide later what to use. Now start by tying a really tight knot with your twine onto your embroidery hoop and stretching it across, wrapping it round, but then can you see you loop it through and under. So what that does is it almost creates a little knot and that will secure it. Then go on to your next one. And the aim is here to keep looping round and under and that will eventually cover the edge of your whole embroidery hoop. Now because we want to cover the whole hoop we just keep going round in circles but when you go to your next layer you start from the middle of your string across to the middle of your next string and keep going round and round until you create a sort of a spider's web. So my hoop's only half on, it was really difficult to get under, but you can see that as I'm working round, through every time making sure you loop under and my spider's web is starting to build up. Now I also wanted to use beads on my dream catcher. So what I have done is I've just got some wooden beads that match the edge of my embroidery hoop. And randomly, I'm just sliding one into the middle so that I've got that option. I can either put a, a bead in or not. I think this made it a bit more difficult to do because it's harder to thread the thread through. But I really like the effect, so it's up to you. You don't have to use those. And here we are. We're getting to the centre of the hoop. So you just keep going as long as you want to. So you can leave a big gap. You could actually add something into the middle. Um, some people use a bangle or all different motifs. But I'm just going to keep going to the middle until I run out of space to go any further. And here I am, I'm in the middle. So it's quite relaxing actually. <laughs> so now you're going to tie it off. So I'm going to use a bead, tie it off and then cut that bit off so that you've actually got a nice little bead to finish it off and then tie it over at the back and that will secure it. And there's my finished hoop. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some feathers. So I've given myself an option of a few feathers. I'll just get this tightened up and tidied. And then I think we're gonna go for something flowery and maybe some of the twine that I've used on the hoop as well. So I'm gonna cut it to length and then tie a feather on the end, but make sure that I've got a bead to slide it over and that will secure the feather on and just finish it off and finish the detail. So I'm gonna work on those in lengths and there I go with the other end, loop it over, and that just tidies it all up. And now I can loop it through my dream catcher and just check the length, check I'm happy with it, and then look for my next piece. So I'm gonna go with a red daisy string, and this has got some beads on as well, so I'm gonna get the right length there, and then cut it. And then I'm gonna use the green thread. This has got a ribbon and a green thread, but the green's easier. Make sure you've got enough length to wrap your ribbon round or thread, tighten it and then put your bead through. Look, it is a bit of a faff, but I think that's more of the products I've chosen than anything else. And get it so that you're happy. And then you can add it to your dream catcher. How many you add is really up to you. So I'm gonna add quite a few so that I've got a bit of a detail. I've got some string, some of the daisy patterns, and I'm just gonna keep going till it's done. 